Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry consistently on Echo Jungle here in season 11. He's getting a buff here pretty soon and I already think he's decent. I'd say he's the best AP carry jungler if you are D4 or lower since he's mobile and he's arguably top five, top 10 best scaling champion in the game. To complement one of the best junglers in the game, we have the best web browser for gamers sponsoring us in this video, Opera GX. Why am I lagging? Did you know that web browsers use a bunch of CPU and RAM from your computer, which essentially gives you a lot of frame droppage? It's pretty annoying and that's why I switched to the world's first browser made for gamers, Opera GX. With GX Control, you can easily enhance the performance of your PC by using these panels for an optimal gaming experience. You can also get quick access to music on the sidebar by logging into Spotify or Apple Music. Opera GX also features Twitch and Discord integration Oh hey look, Faker just went live and my duo is ready to int me. View games on the homepage including upcoming releases and free to play. And easily design and customize your browser page. Ooh, ah. And don't worry about losing your browsing history, bookmarks and cookies. Opera GX has you covered with a quick import tool. And you'll be happy to know there's GX Mobile too, which can be connected with the desktop version. All you have to do to get the best web browser on the market for absolutely free is use my link down in the description or pinned comment below. And let me know what your favorite Opera GX feature is. Their level one might be a bit stronger with the Caitlyn Kench than Zillion. Zillion's kind of bad level one. I might have to start on my blue buff. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, it's fine. I'll start blue buff. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Again, we can't fight this. So th this happens. This is the worst thing about echoes. Your first five levels, you're very vulnerable. You normally want a W at like the 27 second mark. For me, I'm starting my camp a little bit late. Your bread and butter on echo is five camp clear into gank then scuttle or five camp clear scuttle then gank. It just depends on where the enemy jungler is. You normally want to avoid the enemy jungler in your first clear. Because like we talked about, echo is not very good in his first clear it's when he's at his weakest i oh, still make it work looks like uder's pathing back up he only took my red buff that's actually not that great for him uder is one of the faster full clear champions in the game he's abusing phoenix stance to where i don't think he should be running a route like that like if I was Evelyn or Karthus, I think that would have been good. But since I'm Echo, me losing a camp doesn't matter that much because I'm only going to do five anyways, if that makes sense. Okay, can thank you for the prime man open the stream. You normally want to get an, do your three unique hits on each monster. If your Q is enough to kill it all though, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Against Raptors or spread out camps in general, throwing it out from a distance can make it a lot easier to hit the whole camp with it it spreads out and goes flat we should be able to finish off this camp with just one more q haven't really used our e too much we'll go ahead do golems then gank bot lane just make sure you're hitting everything with both sides of your q the first and the second part and uh, ideally you'll be landing your stuns as well the way you do that is the first part of your q is a slow so as long as you land the first part of your q it really sets everything else up so we finish our full clear or our five camp clear in this case since we started late you'll be finishing it around 315 then you'll push for gank and scuttle we're gonna cast w from bush all right we're gonna eq into her we need to land that slow we didn't land both sides of the q it's all right though Uh, I guess we, we actually, they could freeze it from here, but the thing is my teammates are kind of low to where we want them to, uh, actually be able to back. Cause imagine the enemies come back with more items. My teammates are low on health and mana to where the enemies can now kill them. I think Udyr took this scuttle. Okay. He hasn't taken it yet. We'll drop the stun on it. And this is exactly why you need to avoid the enemy jungler because Echo, you don't have a good way of taking off the Scuttle's shield unless your smite is up. So, that's it's really, really bad. So, if the enemy jungler shows up and your W's on cooldown, you just have to leave and give the Scuttle. This is why you generally path away from them, which is what I did. I did not blue, he did my red and his red, and then I kind of just got to path for free. That is perfect for Echo. Even if you fall behind slightly in the early game, just don't die and you'll way, way out scale. 
If you get ahead early, get kills, you can rush Sork Shoes with Dark Seal. I'm not that far ahead, so I'll just grab a Rocket Belt. For your runes, it's just the normal Dark Harvest setup. You can see it at the start, Sun Impact, Eyeball, Ravenous. Secondary runes, you can take pretty much anything. You can take Absolute Focus, Gathering Storm. You could take this, which is I like the most alacrity, Coup de Grasse, it's the best early game. Or you could go Free Boots even. Free Boots is really nice as well. Gonna get on top of this guy ASAP. Get our things going on a cooldown. You can still build Nashers on Echo. It's falling out of favor. When you look at the win rates of the items, Lich Bane has a very, very nice win rate. But Nashers is still viable. Probably do that this game since we have the Zillion to enchant us. We're gonna Q into her. Got the Dark Harvest stack. This is a decent gank. As long as you cast your W from an area where they don't have vision, whether it's behind a wall or in a bush, the majority of the animation they don't see. The majority of the animation starts when you first cast it, where it shows the circle and Echo makes a sound to where they know what's happening. So as long as you cast your W from out of the enemy's vision, you'll land it most of the time because you'll pop out of the bush, you'll EQ into them, they'll be slowed, and then it's too late to where she actually had to flash there. It's really good for us. We're gonna max Q first, W last, E second. Q's gonna slide through the whole camp. We should be able to finish it off with just one more Q. Very nice. You should be looking to hit level 6 around 7 minute 30 or sooner. It just depends on how many minions you're soaking is what's really going to depend when you hit your level 6. We haven't soaked that many minions. It was only one way bot lane. We got to go bot here to see how the enemies have it frozen. If we don't break this freeze, it could set my teammates up to die from gank. So what you do in this case is you come up from behind. The enemies don't expect it. Your teammates step up for the CS and then you go in. Make sure you have the sweeper so you can set up your W's. Should lay your ward get sweeper. At the very start. Oh, it's actually warded. Damn. Nice, we got it anyways. That zillion double bomb was huge. If zillion can actually land his double bombs, the champ's just broken. I don't want to steal their CS, I'm just helping them push it. They can get a plate and then come help me with dragon. Let's set up my stun. That way my passive damage doesn't go to waste. And then I'll set up dragon. I should be able to slide my Q through both. Uh, maybe not. Almost. I'll hit dragon with both sides of it at least. Apply our passive. See, whenever it's ticking down, you can only apply your passive like every five seconds to a target. So you can see it ticking down. Getting your passive down on a monster. ASAP it's gonna help you clear it if I didn't have a teammate with me here I would probably hold on to my E so I, I could escape through the back of the pit if I need to but since I have a teammate I don't really need to Smite for the hill call full HP. I'll just go through the back of the pit. I don't want to walk through dangerous bushes Get our stun down and normally you're gonna just keep ganking the same lane Echo's not the type of jungle like Jarvan or Zinn where you might kind of go a little bit of everywhere. You're just trying to take the easiest gank possible, and that's normally going to be the lane that you've already put behind. I'm going to use this potion heal up. Not sure where the enemy bot lane's at. Let's see what's going on top. Looks like he's doing good. I need Ash to pink this. She pinks it. Oh, I nearly needed her to drop it. Nice, 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 nice. Now I can come hey, around. Hey, Jimmy, how is you today? Yo, Did your back get better? My back's a little bit better. It's about to be hurting though. Carrying. <laughs> gonna eat into it. Ooh, looks like we're getting the Caitlyn instead. I'm gonna just R back. That's why Echo's level six is so good. You can do these nasty extended turret dives and R out for free. Ooh, Kali's missing everything. I'm gonna stick on her auto attack. Ooh, she she thought she's actually gonna get that. Nice ceiling got. That's fine. That is okay with me. We'll look at Udir. His blue buff isn't that fresh, so that means 
Is that his or mine? It might that might actually be mine. He might have taken that a while ago. We don't have a, any dark seal stack, so I'll just hold off on. Good to know, man. Can't hold wait off for the daily that. content and Chell to release her vid pog. Yeah, buddy. For <laughs> Chell to release her vid. Release the Kraken. We are even down CS. That's actually really good. Normally you'll be down a little bit of CS on Echo against a more farm heavy jungler like Karthus or Kane or even Udyr. He must have had a lot of failed ganks because we have 5 KP, he has two. That's really, really good because Echo's arguably the best scaling jungler in the game. <laughs> so if you're going toe to toe or ahead, you should win. The only time you wouldn't want to pick Echo jungle is if your team is full squishy or if your team has way too many AP champs already. In this case, we have uh, Zillion and Mord, but we have two AD champs, so it's okay. If we had four or more AP champs, then this would be really bad. Because they just stack MR and you can't kill anything. EQ, I blocked her off and I'm gonna land my slow. Blue Smiter, auto attack Q. Get off that last auto, we're gonna flash out. When you apply your passive to champions, you get a huge movement speed bonus. That's why Echo can do so much clutch stuff because you just go zoom zoom fast like a Hecarim. When he hits you three times and obviously his Q counts as two of the hits if you hit him with both sides of it. Or you could just Q, E, and then one auto attack. Got lots of our help back. Kali is very low, we can pinch her off very fast. Enemy bots chilling. I'm hoping a Akali stays. Uh, uh, she may not. Ooh, she did. I kind of wish I went for that kill. Like I said, if you are really far ahead, you're doing really well. You should look to get early Sork Shoes and then early Dark Seal. I didn't have the gold for Sork Shoes, so I basically just have the Dark Seal. Dark Seal did get a little nerf, but it's still an insanely cost-effective, awesome item to build on AP Snowbally champs. Udyr. A little bit less items than me. Oh, he didn't actually walk through. He's waiting. That was really weird. Yo, man, just a tip on Echo Jungle. You run Conk instead of Harvest, and you rush Nashers then Riftmaker. I will send you the build in a bit, but that is way better <laughs> into the Bruiser meta because you can use your ULT offensively. Yeah, it can be. Going Conker is decent if uh, you can't one-shot anyone on their team. At that point, you really shouldn't pick Echo, though. Echo, he has such good AP scalings that really being full AP is the way to go on him. Their team's pretty squishy. The Akali, Nico, Caitlyn. If you are having to go Echo, Echo Conqueror, you'd be better off just learning Karthus. Karthus can effectively go double burn items and chunk, chunk down uh, bruisers and tanks alike. Or even a Lilia for that matter. I still have my R, I can R inside this if I need to. Uh, Zillion R was really early. I gotta leave now. We gotta get out of here. I'm not gonna get any help back from my R since I delayed it. Nice. My W slow is blocking a little bit. Awesome, Zillion double bomb stun. With your Eon Echo, you can go over virtually every wall in League of Legends. It has insane range. Just think of it like an Ezreal blink. It's essentially the same thing, at least in terms of range. I haven't sh shown you a dive yet this game, or at least not an over the wall dive. I could go top and show you that. I'll grab Dragon real quick. Use a really low cooldown. We can E out if we need to. Still up a bit of CS, and now we're gonna E out. We go ahead back, get Rocket Belt, and grab Sork Shoes. Sork Shoes are really nice on Echo. You don't have to go them if you are going for more of a Conqueror Scrappy build. Then you can go for Merc Treads or even Plated Still Caps against their team. They have, uh, it's double AP. It's kind of more like three AP, two AD, to be honest, with how the Udyr and Kench damage plays out. 
so we probably would go Merc Treads if we were going Scrappy Echo because of the Nico Snare, Uyr Stun. Then the Kenshin Caitlyn CCs. Chinatsi doesn't help you against suppressions or displacements, but the only displacement they have is one Kench knockout. So Merc Treads would actually be pretty good versus them. Your Rocket Belt, just think of it as an extension of your E. A lot of the times you're going to Rocket Belt EQ. That's going to be your main combo or Rocket Belt QE. E to her, we land our Q. I probably didn't need to R back. Toss out Q a little bit early there. The I'm gonna, she's dead. She's so dead. You might think. The AP oh, you get she actually lived. There's no way. Early spike. Outrageous. I will send you a vid too that shows the build so you can see for yourself. All right, dude. Sounds good. She actually lived. She shouldn't have stayed though. She's ensuring her death. Yeah, she's a goner. And we get turret. I'm going to go ahead and reset, though. I'm kind of low. Well, if Mort's here is with me, I guess it's fine. We'll go for one more bonk. Just didn't, never die on Echo. When you're playing Echo, it's a lot like Evelyn. As long as you never die, you're probably going to win. And I know that sounds obvious, but it, it's just so true. Since Echo, you get to pick all your fights. Since you're mobile, it's hard for them to ever kill you because you're eating your R. Since you get to pick your fights... If you're just not picking bad fights, you realistically won't die much. It's not like a like a champion. Like let's say Ramus or I don't know, an Udir. Once you're in, it can be hard to get out. With Echo, that's not generally the case. Our R is up, I'm sitting on a lot of gold though. I'm not in a hurry to get a Mej, to be honest. Mej is a really good get. It's just that uh, they have a lot of CC to where if I do get hit by Uder Stun, Nico Snare, and Nico Stun, like they can cycle it to where if I do have one slip up, I I could possibly die. I don't want to put the investment into Mej. This is already giving us 55 AP, which is ridiculous return. Herald's up in 40 seconds. If you are ahead, on Echo in the early game, congratulations. You're most likely going to win. With that being said, that so that's how we got the first Herald, to be honest. But uh, if you are playing it right, you'll normally be able to get the second Herald, which is pretty sweet. And that's what we're going to be grabbing here in 20 seconds. As long as you get the first Herald 13 minute marker sooner, you can get the second Herald. That's how it spawns in and decays. And she just ran out. She has one item. We have quite a bit more than her. Our dark still counts as more than a blasting one at the moment. It's really, really strong. All right, we'll go pinch that off. Uder went deferred divine sunder. Uder's honestly not that good right now. He got a little bit uh, over nerfed, I think. It's really hard to balance since he's point and click. He was being played a lot in pro play because nothing really counters him that hard early mid game. And that's really important in the highest levels of League of Legends. If you can pick a champion and there's no immediate answer to it, it's going to have very high pick and ban rate. And solo queue though, I'm, I don't think Uder's that good. He can't carry that hard in my opinion and he doesn't scale that well. To where once everyone has a couple of items, he just doesn't do a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Got her. We killed her with our AoE. Kind of funny. Go ahead and drop Herald now. Turn on Sweeper. There's a bug to where if you lay Herald and then spam Sweeper, you get another charge of it. Toss out a W. I should have done it from the shadows. I want the shield so I can pressure her a bit. We might be able to end it right here if we keep the Herald alive. Slide our Q through, hit every minion. Possibly winnable. The enemies don't resist too hard. They may not, because this was kind of snowbally one sidey. Alright, we'll finish it. 
Eh, maybe, eh, maybe. It's actually gonna be. I could keep hitting it. I kind of want to get these kills though. Ooh, I got ignited and I'm out of man. I gotta back off. I gotta back off. Mord's in really, really deep. Zillion doesn't have R. I don't think that kills. Oh, wow, that killed. Jesus. It's becoming more and more common for Caitlyn to go lethality. Got our full Lich Bane. I'm not crazy about Hourglass on Echo. Standing still on him kind of sucks. I'd rather just get more damage. I would only get Hourglass if they have something that you could completely counter with it. Like maybe a Zed or a Talon. But even then, if you use your R properly, they'll never kill you. Echo really just plays best with damage stack and that's it. If you guys enjoyed this Echo Jungle commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.